How should companies handle your confidential information? That's what a two-month-long Target 32 investigation trying to find out. We pulled confidential records out of the dumpsters of local banks, credit unions, loan companies, and this area's largest tax preparer. Tonight's investigative reporter Steve Bergen is here to tell us about some of the most sensitive information that he found in the trash. There's probably nothing more revealing than your credit report or your income tax return. We found those kinds of documents in trash, and then we tracked down the people whose names were on those documents. That wasn't too hard when you consider the fact private phone numbers were on some of those documents. Tonight, we conclude our exclusive Target 32 investigative series, Confidential Trash. It's our whole life history for the last seven years. And that life history was in the trash behind Kentucky Finance in downtown Louisville. We found several credit reports in the garbage container on March 16th, including those of Stephen and Naomi Stuckey. The Jeffersonville couple applied for a loan over the telephone. There's a lot of street people in Louisville going through trash cans, and I'd hate to think if they got a hold of my Social Security number and my credit card. They could call anyone on the telephone, use my credit card. They got my Social Security number. They could charge anything they wanted. We also found Linda Stanton's credit report in the same trash. Stanton yeah, says Kentucky right. Finance That's should be doing right. something similar to what she does at home. Stuff like that, I put it in my barbecue grill or somewhere and burn it, you know, so I don't want nobody to have that kind of stuff. On April 4th, Kentucky Finance, headquartered in Dallas, Texas, told us if a credit report is in the garbage, we have to assume it's going to stay there. At that time, the company planned no changes. But on April 9th, Kentucky Finance called back saying its Louisville manager has ordered a dumpster with a lock on it. We also found confidential trash in the dumpster of American General on Barchtown Road, including loan applications with Social Security numbers and birthdays. The Evansville, Indiana-based company says it was handling the situation internally. If we have a problem, we are going to review it and correct any problems we have. Holland Income Tax is this area's largest tax preparer. I'm upset. I feel like I've been violated that uh, all, any information that anybody wanted about me was just thrown out for anybody to get that wanted it. We discovered the tax returns of Lewis and Janice Goins in the trash at Holland Income Tax at Preston and Markwell. We found the tax returns of Paul and Loretta Clark in the dumpster at Holland Income Tax at Taylor Boulevard and Con Avenue. How can they do something like this, throwing confidential stuff? You have my social security numbers, you've got what we make. Um, Every little detail here, they know my life, sort of, for say. I'm upset. I'm really upset. On March 22nd, we checked this dumpster behind Holland Income Tax, located on Barnstown Road near Breckenridge Lane. It was locked. But on top of the dumpster was a bag of trash. And inside that bag of trash, copies of income tax information. I don't know why I would, you would find this. Tax returns that belonged to Charles hmm. Brewer, who got his taxes done at the Holland Income Tax in LaGrange, some 25 miles from where we found them. Makes me wonder why it's there. I don't know uh, what to say about that. That's kind of upsetting in a way. Certainly, that is not something that uh, you know that that we find acceptable uh, as a as a method of disposal of a tax return. Nor does company vice president Wes Alberry find it acceptable that we found in Holland income tax dumpsters more than two dozen partial or complete tax returns, along with more than 350 names and social security numbers. Anything that, you know, for whatever reason, there's, there's not a reason that I know of to have uh, W-2s and, you know, other sensitive information in a dumpster. I'm glad that you brought it to our attention because it is something that I, I never really considered. You know, I don't think of people going through dumpsters, but... Um, in talking to people, a lot of people, I understand there are people who do that, you know, very often. And we don't want to have tax information available to anyone that it's not intended for. We checked dozens of trash containers throughout Jefferson County and southern Indiana, and we found confidential records in 12 of those containers. All the businesses expressed concern to us over protecting such records, and most took quick action to correct any problems. I think part of the message here is that we all probably should take better care of disposing of our confidential records. Yeah, maybe to help these people protect their privacy as well. Right. Nice job, Steve. Very Thanks. enlightening. Yeah. Thank you, Steve.